Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you are watching this amazing video. My name is Asmika, I'm in a dream room of three, based in Italy. So guys, I'm really happy to share this with you guys. The last vlog you watched, I took the kids to Duomo, yes, in Milan. You know, this is summertime, you can't be indoor all the time, you have to take the kids out to have, I mean, I'm... <laughs> Sorry, to have amazing time because when the winter period is here, you can't go out the way you can go out doing summer. So you don't want to keep them indoor during winter and keep them indoor again during summer. No, no, no. Don't do that to your kids. Allow them to have fun, see beautiful place, you know. So yesterday when we went to do home because that is the only way uh, Primark that is close to me. Yes, the Primark I've gone to, the one I've gone to is very far to the one at Duomo. So I always use that opportunity to get some stuff there, which they have a lot of amazing show. Oh my God, they have a lot of amazing show. If they are not careful, you come home with zero, zero euro. So I want to share what, because I was planning to get clothes for my son. I have a six month old baby. I got the sister and the brother, I got their high time for back to school, that one is important. I got it from Shin, which you guys will have already seen before this vlog. So I was, one thing just told me, first, don't get anything for the baby yet. Winter is not your but I love doing my shopping for winter during summer time because you save a lot of money. So as I was saying, I love working. The only time you can't catch me outside is winter time because I'm scared of clothes. I'm even looking for thick jacket, which I've never even seen. Very thick jacket. If you see me, I love putting on oversized jacket, long jacket because I don't even want the cold to touch me at all. So, as I was saying, the only time you can catch me inside is during the winter period. So, I'm always on the walk. <laughs> so, my first album. Uh, I wanted to give it to her inside the supermarket. Not even supermarket, inside the mall, a very big mall. So my second son, no, it was not inside the mall. I think it was at home. But that day also, I've already gone to the mall, walk and walk. Then my third baby, which is the last, it was inside the supermarket. Yes, it was inside the supermarket. My water broke inside the supermarket, which all the Italian, Old women were inside the supermarket. People were there. We as in, I've already finished doing the shopping. We are on the queue. As in, I just hear boom, <laughs> and Obi was outside waiting for me. The kids were with me. They were with Obi. So there was one Nigeria guy inside the supermarket. So so I was shy. As in the people were like, don't be shy. They were not calling my husband. Like, go, 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 go with your car. They were saying it in Italian. They were shouting. They were calling him. Everybody has all this passer. I felt for the lady at the counter because everywhere was filled with the water as in she was cleaning. People were holding me. Can I walk? Should they call the ambulance? Did they do this? I was telling them I can walk. My husband is outside. They were calling him. They were like, no, inside the car, let's call the ambulance. The reason why we didn't accept from the beginning to call the ambulance, I'm going to tell you. You see the supermarket I went to? From that supermarket to the hospital is like 10 minutes walk, which I don't want to give birth to at the hospital, which I don't want to talk about that. Is, uh, I don't want to show, but I don't want to talk about why I don't want to go to that hospital because it was that hospital I was doing antenata before I chose for them to transfer me to another hospital which the hospital I'm using from my house to that hospital is almost 30 or 35 minutes with car so they were like, they should call ambulance, they should do this, they should do that I said no, 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 because I knew they called the ambulance is the hospital that is close by the ambulance will call, which I need was that hospital. Okay, I was going with all this. I was feeling it. I was feeling it. I was shouting, and the kids were inside the car. So I, I, we had to stop by 
at a family friend place we dropped the kids with them when our way going when we almost got home to pick the baby uh, baby things i could not bear it again so there was emergency i stopped where ambulance to stay in my area my husband have to take me there we didn't even come home to pick the baby things my husband have to take me there so the ambulance people they came they were like they want to take me to the hospital i don't want to go to my husband was like no 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 i said no i don't want to get there they were like trying to push what out of my mind like what happened you were sending to italia what happened why do you want to go there there is an area hospital you are in pains the hospital said we should take you to it's like that's it. i said no i don't want to go there i'm not going they should take me to where like oh my god so when they were like okay they have to wait for someone to come before they can accept which is a metro so like she came she was like why did i don't want to go to that hospital i was like i don't want to go there they should not take me there i don't want to go there she was like okay they should accept my decision because this is not my first baby this is not my second baby that because they already hasn't checked my bag when my husband dropped my bag they already checked for my documents they put my name on the very scene all the history all the hospital i was using they're like okay they have no choice they have to take me to the hospital i went to so i went there thinking hmm i'm going to put to bed very soon which i always give thanks to almighty allah anytime i remember that scene as in i didn't share this from the beginning because i was not really ready to share this and the main reason why i'm sharing this now is because of my kids uh resuming to school why i'm sad not i won't say sad i'm happy for them going back to school because this is what brought out the uh, what brought all the things that make me not to be happy for them going back to school so when we go to the hospital, hmm, I was thinking because I always have easy labor. Easy before you know it, I gradually put to bed. My first was easy, my second one easy. But you see this one, which I'm going to be sharing some clip, not me being in labor. That part is a very, very private something. People that chose to share it, fine. Now, there's nothing bad in sharing, but mine. I don't I don't want to share but I'm going to share as in to give you guys a proof what happened. You see me doing all those cleaning video then is once in a while I have strength. I'm always out of strength when I was pregnant. I'm always going into the hospital, maybe in the midnight, sleeping there, coming home. It was this pregnancy was different from the other two pregnancies. As in this pregnancy was a very tough one. Very, very tough. So when we go to the hospital, you know you really have easy labor first, easy labor second. Me thinking this labor was going to be easy, but my husband was telling me the way we visit hospital every time this pregnancy, all I just pray is easy labor for you. So which I was even really glad I met a very nice, amazing young, good doctor. Okay, so. When I got to, got to the hospital, they checked this uh, centimeter where the baby is. They was like, the baby is not near yet. Yes, the water has already got to burst, but I'll have to be patient. It's not risky yet. I was there. They were checking. They were checking. They were checking. They were checking. So I was there till the second day. Imagine the second day I've not put to bed. I was going through pains. Okay, my doctor came. My doctor was like, he knows that I'm strong. He does not want to induce me yet. He does not want to operate me because the baby is still safe. I was like, no problem. Hmm. Afternoon, I was still there. I'm still in labor. Okay, they started disagree. As you know, they are they are team that they are going to, as in, be in charge of your labor. Okay, the matron was like, no, she can't wait again. That they should induce me. The doctor said no. Okay, the doctor said they should take me. I should go and shower, do this. They use like cold water to massage my tummy, all those things. Hmm, I was still dead to leave me. Oh, okay, in the evening, he accepted it that they should induce me. He signed the paper, he spoke to me, he said the main reason why he does not want them. As he does not want to accept the inducing before that he sees that I can do it, that the labor will come but the way it is now that he can't take the risk anymore, they have to induce me. But it gave them condition like they should not use a lot of inducing stuff. I uh, stuff, I don't know how to put it. So 
the little they gave me as in inside the drip oh my god he said i was what it was as in scared for as in the energy came from nowhere if you know how many people that were holding me was not telling me that this is the reason why he does not want to use this. My husband, hey, and my husband was still holding our Muslim rosary inside the theater. See, he does not even know where he, he kept the rosary again. The mom was like, the doctor was like, that was the why he doesn't want to accept the Hinduism. If you see this strength, eh, come and see the way they held me. The doctor held my leg. You're like, please, don't push. Don't join your leg. As in, I don't even know where the strength was really coming from. I won't lie. I don't know, it was like they should remove the uh, drip by inducing drip, they should remove it. They started, they passed like this and that and the only thing was that he knew what was going to happen. That was why he told them that the both hand, they should fix all these drip stuff in the both hand. So he told them they should remove the drip immediately. They were, if you see the way they were holding it. It's only God that said it was all this plastic um, syringe they used, not the needle one. So... He told them to remove the drip. They kept um, the, the natural water because before they give you anything as you are in labor, they will tell you what they want to pass to your body. It was like, just calm down. This natural water. I want to flush all the inducing that has already passed on your body. They passed the two water. They were rushing the water. Oh my God. If you see the way I held my husband eh? with the strength. Hmm. But thank God the baby came. Again, as in, I put to bed, which I'm really glad about. So, those period I was in the hospital, I was in the hospital for like, I think it was five days. Yes, I was in the hospital five days. The main reason why they didn't discharge me on time was I was always coming to the hospital, going out, coming in, going out. So, they did general tests, different kind of tests. And again, they made a mistake in one of my tests. So they have to redo the test again. The test they gave me was not mine when I was pregnant. So they had to control it to be sure that everything was all right. So that time I was at the hospital, my husband was going coming. We never knew. They already started the registration of kids eating in school. My daughter ate only uh, when she was in premise one at home. It was very stressful, which I... I have to allow her to start eating from school because I'll have to go to school and pick her, come back as if she go in the morning at 30, I'll go and pick her at 12 30 to come and eat, take her back again too, go and pick her again, close it and four. It was very stressful for me. So she has been eating from school, primary two, primary three, primary four. Then she's about going to primary five now. My son was eating in school, primary one. My son is going to two now. We never knew the registration had already started. As in, okay, when I came home, you know, attended to the baby, the joy, everything, my brain was not there. My brain was out of focus. As in, so when I already calmed myself down, like three weeks later, I was already home. I was like, okay, let me go and register the kids for school, uh, food school. When I got there, I said it was closed. I wanted to faint. I wanted to go down to cause the stress. The stress I'm going to get slim as I'll be lean, which you guys are going to witness it. I started see something about Italian. If a particular program is closed, sorry is closed. No excuse, nothing. Close is closed. I was begging, I was crying. I told them I I, I put to bed. Okay, the lady saw the new baby. I did this. My husband was busy. I beg beg. I went there two, three times begging. They do not accept, so I have to accept my fate like that. That is the reason why I was telling you guys I'm not really happy the kids want to go back to school because I'll take them to school at 13, go and pick them 12 30, take them back to closing time 4. It's very stressful for me, very, very stressful. I think about it almost every time that I'm, I'm going to pass through this stress, which I don't even want as in. Oh my god, I don't even want to pass through it. Obi is supposed to help me to go and be picking them. But for now, I don't even want to talk about why Obi is not chance to do that. When we get to that bridge, we we'll cross it. That means when I get to that stage to tell you guys, I'm going to explain to you guys. So that is the main reason why I said I'm happy and I'm not happy why the kids want to receive a resume back to school. So that is just it. So guys, 
I've already pity myself before you, you won't have pity for me with the stress. I've already pity myself. So let me just show you guys. Let's move to the amazing foam pad. Let me unbox amazing things I got for myself. I got a back bag for myself and amazing post. If I show you guys my post eh, on my behalf, eh, you feel this grace. As you know, we have been complaining. Please change this post. I don't want to see this post again, but I've not seen a post I love as in that I like, that I want to buy. I don't like when I buy something, I don't like it. I, I If I don't like it, I won't use it. So I've already seen a post, a wallet I love. I'm going to show you. Let me show you guys what I got for Azad first at Primark. So this video is already long. Please accept my story like that. So let me show you guys what I got. I'll run and show you guys, but I'll come down to unbox my bag and my wallet with you guys. So guys, let's see. The first item I'm showing you is these socks. See, I don't know how my kids' socks get misplaced. Mostly ankle socks. So I got them one pack, which is 10 inside together. That is, I think, 20. Then I got Azaz these socks from Primark. These socks is very thick for winter, which I'm really glad about this. Then I got him these, um, all these, uh, I would like body suits, yes, for baby. There is three inside a pack. There is three. One, two, three. Then you see, I'm happy about this track today. This one, I got him. Then this one. So you see, this one is so beautiful. Eh? I got this. This design. I got this design. Then I got this together for him to rock. This. Then. I got Alima black leggings because her black leggings is already short, which this one is very thick. I just pray it lasts long. Then I got a, a, a jogger spa, a trouser. She really needed this color black. I forgot to get it, get it when I was doing shopping on Shein. So I want to show you guys uh, the next thing I got for myself. This is a body scrub, coconut bubbles. I got it from Primark. Can you see? I've not even smelled it. Let me smell it. Oh, it's not open. I'll open it later. I got this toothbrush for Obi. This pack of toothbrush. He has been looking for strong toothbrush. The one we see near us, it does not like smoker toothbrush. You know, smoker toothbrush is very, very strong. But the one that is not strong, like smoker toothbrush, so I saw this at Prima and it was strong. So I got this nail glue for myself because now I want to look as in always beautiful, always treat myself. So I got this uh, nail glue from Primark. Then I got this nail set, red, which is very short and I love it. Then I got the nude one. I love this too also. And I've not even filled the texture yet, but I know it to be nice. Then I got this glove, exfoliating glove. I got it for myself. A friend of mine, she went to France. So, um, she she went to France. She knew I wanted to go to France this year, but because of my baby, I could not go. Yes, because my baby document is not out yet. So, I could not go to France because of that. I could not travel. So, she went to France and she got me this lovely France key order and she got me this pair cup, uh, cupcake I never knew she was going to get me something I won't lie I never knew which I'm really glad she did which I really appreciate that so so much this pair oh my god oh my god this pair eh? <sighs> the smell is so yummy this is it cupcake can you see? Flor de Mayo. The is so beautiful. And this Kilda, I'm going to put it on my bag. I want to show you guys. Will I call it Kilda? I don't know what I will call it. So she got me this uh, France tour. I say France tour, Paris tour. Is it Paris tour? I don't even know what they call it. I bet. I can't come and disgrace myself. <laughs> Let's move to the amazing part. 
I got myself this amazing. This is the boss and the bag for myriad, myriad. I think there uh, is Valentino that make it owns this product because I saw a lot of Valentino things a lot. I saw only Valentino and this myriad inside our store. I was like, okay, okay. So let's unbox this together, guys. Come in. You see this bag? I really love this bag so much. Back bag. Ooh. <laughs> My god, look at the bag. Look at it. Look at the bag. Ooh. <laughs> it's so beautiful. The leather, so soft, so nice. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm going to rub this bag very, very well. So I was like, okay, let me check. Their pores and this is its wallet. I got myself the wallet also. This is the wallet. The wallet is so beautiful. <laughs> oh, this is the wallet. Look at it. See, I've wanted this kind of size. This is the size I have before. But it's not a, um, I would say I like a design, designer wallet, it's a normal wallet I bought in the market, which I have used for a very, very long time, which really served me. But I don't want to buy a big wallet because I love small bag a lot. So my credit card, my documents, everything will fit in inside this place. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, oh my god, and my coins because I like collecting coins from mobile lots, so my coins will fit inside here. So, so that is all for today's video. Please do not forget to, to subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate your love, your support. I really appreciate I really appreciate your love, your support. I really appreciate it so much. Your love means a lot to me. When winter come now, all this bye bye, we won't be able to buy it again. We won't want to go out again. <laughs> we'll be indoor always. So this summer time, let's enjoy ourselves. Let's go out, guys. Next vlog, I'm going out again. I'll take the kids. I'll take them outside because when winter come, I'll be inside. Oh, I can't be inside, <laughs> inside summer again. No. So make sure you subscribe so that I can take you guys along. Follow me anywhere I waka waka my leg about to. So make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.